The tips that we're going to go over today are extremely helpful to stay organized, remembering the clips or sections of clips that you like, and just to help you edit more efficiently. Say you're in your library and you've decided that you really like this clip. Instead of having to remember this clip and all of the clips that you like, with your clip selected, press the shortcut F. This allows you to favorite that clip. Final Cut Pro will put this green line over the clip, so now we know that we think it'd be a good choice to use in the video. Now let's say there's only a part of the clip that you like. We can either drag to make a selection and then press F, or press I for the in point and O for the out point, and then press F to favorite. This will make it easy for you to see those clips or just those specific sections of clips that you like. So if we head to this button and click favorites or press the shortcut control F, you'll notice that what shows up are the clips that we just favorited. And something that's cool is if you favorited a section of a clip, like with this one, it'll just show the segment that we like the most, not the whole clip. Let's go back to all clips, so it shows everything, and I'll just drag a part of this clip to the timeline. Now you'll notice that an orangish bar shows up in this selection. That's letting us know that this segment of clip has been used in the video. Visually, this is very helpful so we know what clips to skip over when we're looking for other clips. This is also very helpful because if we click this button again and click unused or press Control U, now we can see the clips that haven't been used in the video. So everything without the orange bars. So for example, with this biking clip, we use the middle section of the clip already. So that's why it's showing the clip split in two. These are the parts of the clip that we haven't used yet. Also, little side note, if you can't see the orange bars, you may have them turned off. Go to view, browser, and click used media ranges. That'll bring them up. Now don't click off just yet because I'll show you something that has helped me out a lot with editing for quite a while after I explain how to reject clips. If there's a clip you don't like or a section of a clip you don't like and you know you'll never use it, just press the delete key. A red-ish bar will show up on the clip or section of the clip. Now you're not actually deleting this clip from the library, but you're just letting yourself know that this clip is a no-go. And we can actually hide these rejected clips by pressing Control H or clicking this button again and clicking hide rejected. If you favorited or rejected a clip and you've changed your mind, just click the clip and press the shortcut U for unrate. So here's something that I do often that really helps out and I know it'll help you out if you don't already know it. In our smart collections, there are some that are automatically made when you start a new library. And I'll be going over smart collections more in another video because they are a big reason why I love Final Cut. But for now, if we click on favorites and double click this gear icon here, click this add button to add another parameter, and click used media, then switch this to unused, now we are shown every clip that we favorited in the library and that hasn't been used in the video. So basically all the clips that are left and that we really like. Then we can create this as a new smart collection so we have easy access to the clips we need. This is so helpful because when you have a sea of clips in your library, it's hard to find where certain clips or sections of clips are that you like and that have not been used yet. Using smart collections like this little tip will help tremendously. Since I'll be going over smart collections in a video coming up soon, make sure to hit that red subscribe button so you can learn more about them and more about Final Cut. And in the meantime, I'm pretty sure you'll love this video. At least YouTube thinks you will. And have a great rest of your day.